Well, this is my next project here. I've got a non-running power washer. This is a power flow plus technology. It's got a Briggs and Stratton engine in it, 190 cc, 8.75. And this is a 3000 max PSI pressure washer, 5.0 max GPM. Nice machine, hasn't been started in over a year. This belongs to my neighbor here. We're going to see if we can get it back running for him again. Almost a new machine. I think he got this from one, one of the local home stores here. This is where you put your cleaning in the tank there. Briggs and Stratton engines, got the off and on switch. Air filter's got like a door. It's kind of greasy in there. This foam is a little bit greasy. Looks like the choke is on. Make sure it's not stuck. Check that a little bit later. Very greasy air filter. Very lightweight model. I like how these are set up with the large rear wheels. Very nice machine. Let's see if we can get it back running for him. I'll show Show you what it's not doing. Let's see if we can find some numbers on here. Looks like this is the model and serial number here. Let me show you what it's not doing, which is not starting. And maybe we can try putting some carburetor cleaner in here and see if it at least attempt to start, showing it's got spark. This is the engine model and serial number, model year 2016. Check the oil in here, make sure it's not overfilled, seeing oil in the carburetor. And it's to the top of that notch like it should be. It's got an automatic choke, let's just try it as is. And that's about all it will do. sit a little bit and then it will get some gas in it and start up. Let's put some carburetor cleaner in here. A little bit of carburetor cleaner in there. Yeah, the choke is not stuck because I can move it. And let's see if it'll keep running maybe this time. And here we go. Here we go again. That is about all we can get it to do. We're going to take the carburetor off this and clean it out. I think we got something stuck in there. And notice this choke seems to be sticking every once in a while, too. So clean all this out. See if we can bring this power washer back to life. And we're going to take the carburetor off this power washer. We have to take this top cover off so we can get access to the carburetor. And also this air filter door here will need to come off. There's a couple of screws in there. Should be very easy. Everything looks very clean on here. And we got that one screw here to get off and it's also one down here to get this top cover off. And now you can see the carburetor with the cover off. We gotta clamp that fuel line, take note where the linkage goes, and this air filter door needs to come off, and that's where our off and on switch is as well. And now we 
we've got the air filter door off. We can put this out of the way, leave the wires on there. And here is our carburetor. We'll get a vise and clamp this off. And remove these two screws back here and disconnect the linkage. And our carburetor is now off. Let's check to see what's plugging this up. Now let's see what's in this carburetor here. And the bolt was loose. Fairly new engine. Sure, I'm seeing anything through that jet there. Kind of oily. It's coming out. That is really clean. Pretty clean carburetor. Let's take the float off. Sure, there's got to be something. I think we found the problem. I think that jet's got a little plugged up. And that's some dried up looking gas right there as well, as you can see. So let's clean all this up. Make sure we can blow through all these passages and should be a relatively easy fix on here. And this carburetor is all cleaned now and the problem was this jet was partially clogged which is keeping it from running. Should solve the problem now if you can see through this hole. So let's reassemble the carburetor. The float back in, this looks really good. And now let's put the carburetor bowl back on. And the carburetor is fully assembled. I can blow in through this fuel line with a carburetor in this position here, but when I turn it upside down, that float closes and I can't blow in here. So that tells me the gas is flowing and cutting off. So now let's reinstall this back onto the power washer. And the carburetor is back on the pressure washer, and I got the fuel line freed up, and there is no leaks, that's a good sign. Got the linkage back on, and there was also this little spring here. Got that back on, so let's put the air filter cover back on. And the air filter cover's back on. And this air filter was really oily, it may have been tilted at some point in time, not sure. But I squeezed it all out of this and dried it out with a rag. So put that back in and put this decorative cover back on and we'll give it a start. And the carburetor is now clean on the power washer. Let's give it its first start here. Let's see if I can hold this camera and start at the same time. Here we go. Freed up by itself, I went to get a screwdriver.
see if it'll restart. Neighbor be back in the power washing business.